Uh, I'm Tommy Dunn. I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's well over four years ago. I still get amazed when people say to me, how can you have Alzheimer's and still be able to talk? You know, it's, 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 right. Going into hospital is a very worrying time for anyone. But for the person with dementia, it can be a nightmare. Can, can you imagine waking up every day in a ward, a strange place surrounded by strangers you do not know, and people who do not understand how a person with dementia feels or their special needs? A strange woman comes and puts this thing around your arm and says, I'm just taking your blood pressure. And suddenly something tight starts squeezing your arm and it hurts. Then they stick something glass in your mouth, just taking your temperature. Okay, they say, and then walk away. A meal menu is put in front of you for you to tick which meal you would like. But you may not understand it. You may not have your reading glasses, or you may be just dyslexic. But none of this is taken into account. So they collect the menus, and then they realize that they, you have not ticked any. So they say to you, would you like the chicken pie? And because you don't answer, they assume you're a deaf and shout, would you like the chicken pie? <laughs> this makes you jump, and you nod with fright. So they assume you say yes. Then they come round with the tea trolley and a stranger is standing at the bottom of your bed saying, would you like a nice cup of tea? You were startled. Who is th this person at the bottom of my bed? I'll leave you a nice cup of tea. They come back later and they take the tea that you did not drink away and assume that you did not want it. They notice that your water jug is full and assume that you are not thirsty. They also notice that your chicken dinner has not been touched and assume that you are not hungry. So they take it away without any note being made that you have not eaten or drank. This same scenario was played out over the next few days. So you start to become dehydrated and delirium sets in. This is bad enough for any person, but for a person with dementia it's twice as bad. They put your worsening condition down to your dementia and the nightmare cycle of waking up in a strange place continues. You become agitated, so they give you medication to calm you down. And so the quick decline in your health begins, yet no one knows why or understands it. This is not fiction, this is fact. It's going on in hospitals every day. It's got to stop. God bless John's campaign.